What is up guys, Apathy back in the building today with another video, and I know man, I missed two days of uploading videos, I'm pretty sure it was two days, really sucked, I was really hoping, you know, I would continue to do a video and not miss a day this year, but you know what, being sick just takes a toll on you, I tried my best even when I was sick to upload a video, and I did for the first like two or three days, but eventually I just couldn't anymore, I was obviously drained as well from playing so many GBs, and 2Ks and just getting on top of just being sick, putting in so much time into Call of Duty. So it was taking a huge toll on me. I just didn't have the energy or motivation or just, you know, when you're so sick, just to, like, I just couldn't. I couldn't do it. So I apologize for that. But now that I'm feeling a lot better, I'm going to try my best. I'm still, I'm still a little sick. I'm still a little sick. But uh, I'm, I am definitely feeling a lot better. My right ear was clogged for about four or five days. And it's still a little bit clogged, so it's hard to hear from it. But it's definitely getting better too as well. So today I'm going to be doing a live com talking about a lot of important things. And I'm going to try my best to, you know, talk about everything very quickly in this one video. And it's going to be a lot to talk about. And, you know, I tweeted out yesterday that this is going to be one of the most stressful months of Call of Duty in my entire career. And I was not gassing it. There was no gas in that. You know, I literally meant, you know, it was, oh my god, there's all here. It was going to be one of the most stressful Call of Duty months of my entire career. It was. It is going to be. And that's a fact. So I'm going to try to go a little bit back to the start and talk about certain things that I feel like was a really big impact so you guys understand a little bit more. You know, I feel like I'm telling a story and I kind of am. But a lot of you guys know the first 2K was the uh, beginning of the game sort of about about a month or almost a month into the game and the reason they had a 2k was for seeding for MLG Atlanta pretty much and before that there was actually you know there was people were playing GBs for some pro points or to obtain some pro points that way you get a seeding in the 2k and during this time uh, I was gone I believe the 2k was actually the weekend uh, before Las Vegas and I was gone you know I, I, I did have my wedding and my honeymoons so I didn't really get to play GBs I didn't bother playing GBs I didn't think it was going to be such a huge factor than it originally was. And, you know, us having a terrible seed playing TGC on their, you know, they hosted two respawns on their crappy Canadian West Coast host. I don't know what it was. But, you know, it really, it really fucked us. It was almost, they were almost unbeatable on their host. It really sucked bad. And they ended up knocking us out. And we only got, you know, like, top 32 or something like that. So we, our pro points we, the pro points we got was really shit. And on top of that, you know, we didn't play any GB, so we were we were we were looking at we were we were in a pretty bad spot. So going into MLG Atlanta, you know, I mean, going to Las Vegas, you know, our pro points were pretty bad, but you know, it's nothing we could do about that. And it really sucks that you know we didn't play GBs and we didn't try to obtain a better a better spot. Because if we would have had a better spot, I'm pretty sure we would have got at least top 32, maybe top 16, or I mean, we would have got at least top 16 or top 8. But it is what it is. Then going to Las Vegas. We obviously played LG for a top eight. We had a really close matches. We went under practice. A big reason was due to you know me having my wedding and whatnot. But another thing, uh, I know uh, Slasher had his finals and he was having all his finals, and I know that would have affected us a little bit too, regardless. But you know the main reason obviously was because of me. You know I was the one absent. I was the one missing, and it really did sucked. But uh, you know coming back, I was like, all right, I have high hopes. You know we we can do this. You know we're gonna come back. We're gonna come back stronger. You know, to get pool play for MLG Atlanta, you need to be at least, at least in the top 10. And right now, I believe after this 2K yesterday, we got top 8. And, you know, we lost the phase for top 4. Uh, we were up 2-0. They reverse comebacked us. And, you know, we just couldn't close out. You know, they're obviously a really good team. They've been playing more than us. They were more practiced than us. And, you know, you know that's another subject I'm going to come to right now. But we ended up getting top 8. Uh, we got some pro points, but we're we went from like the 12th seed to 11th seed because we our team actually passed us up just from straight GBs. So we originally were the 11th seed after Las Vegas, and the team passed us up to 12th seed, and now we're the 11th seed again. So even after placing top eight, we're still not in the best spot. And the good thing is there's three more 2Ks coming up, but uh, us being in such a shitty spot, we're almost we're almost. You know, it's almost a must for us to grind GBs. And, you know, GBs, they aren't that bad. GBs obviously aren't the worst. Like, you can kind of cool it. But at the same time, they're boring. They're repetitive. You're playing shitty teams. You're getting no practice. You know, in the end of the day, you're just playing it for pro points because you need the pro points. And on top of that, we don't get practice because of it. We're almost... It's almost a must for us to play GBs at this point if we want to make pool play. In, in in Atlanta and pool play is huge because you don't you do not want to go to open bracket. It's a best of three. You know that could be a little bit fluky. You know you're playing at those side stations which aren't always the best. And on top of that, 
you know, teams, you know, can, I don't know, you just don't, you don't know what to expect from open bracket teams sometimes. And there's those, you know, top amateur teams that obviously go through open bracket. And you never know, they could get a really fluky S&D win or, and then just win, like, take a win on a hard point by one point or something crazy. And boom, you're a loser bracket. And at least in, in pool play, like, even if you somehow lose in pool play, you're at least top 24 and you fight from a closer spot, you know, rather than, let's say, we lose at top 64 and now we have to fight all the way through and it's just exhausting. It's just going to give us a very low chance to win the event and I feel it's going to give us a lower chance to, you know, to do good at the event. Like, it, the only thing it would help us would be with, like, momentum and just getting practice as we go. But even then, you know, the, some of the teams won't really help us much, but... Uh, the biggest thing is, you know, on top of us having forced to play GPs, almost basically forced, because a lot of teams are doing the same. So we're basically forced at this point. We're forced to play GPs. It's the only way we can compete. And it's a shitty system. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure they know this by now. And I'm pretty sure uh, they're probably at some point going to do something about it. You know, maybe put a gap. I'm not entirely sure yet. But they're probably not going to do anything anytime soon. So right now, we're almost forced to play GPs. We're almost forced to grind them. And this is where it sucks. We need to practice. We need to scrim. We need to get better as a team. Like playing GBs all day, it's not it's not gonna help us. Like it's not gonna give us that practice we need. It's not gonna, you know, make us better. It's just not. You know, the only thing it really doesn't. And there's nothing you can say that, you know, could change that. The only time maybe when we play a really good team, then maybe. But that's like one out of every ten to twelve teams. That's like and, and, and it's a best of three, you know, it, it, like you're just not getting that practice. And due to this system and due to GBs and everyone grinding GBs, we can't really scrim. Like the past, like obviously I've been sick and that's been affecting us like scrimming wise. But like, let's say today, for example, right? We're, we need to grind GBs. We need to. We, we also obviously need to do it individually so we get, you know, obtain points ourselves. So it, it kind of, you know, try, like, I don't know, that's something we have to do. But I know Slasher starting school, uh, I think JCAP starting school again. Like, it's just, it's going to be tough. It's going to be really hard. And, like, we just can't practice due to the system. Like, we want, let's say we want to scrim today, like I said. Well, how are we going to scrim when we have to play GBs? It's got, like, a five piece. But, like, seriously, how are we going to scrim when we need to play GBs? Like, it's just GBs are... You know, they're they're what we have to do. Like they they are pri priority right now. Like it's something we have to do. So, like it's either you know we we don't we we get one scrim in. You know we get a little practice in, and you know we try to get a little better doing that one practice, and then we play GB for the rest of the night. So we like half ass both things, or you know we just play GBs all day, and you know we don't pretty much get any practice so improvement it's really not going to be there and we get gb pro points but even then you know other teams are grinding pro points so i mean realistically it's going to be hard to catch up to them to begin with it's just it's just the system is so flawed and it really sucks that it's come down to this because i really wish i don't have to be in this position and you know we're just in a really shitty tough spot because on top of you know Pro points are everything. Pro points are everything every year. Pro points are going to be big this year. I can't tell you everything, you know, why pro points are going to be big this year. Because, you know, I do know some stuff and I probably shouldn't be talking about it. So, therefore, I won't mention it. But pro points are going to be really important and big this year. And we obviously have Atlanta coming up, which is going to be a big event for us. But then it all comes down to the, it comes down back to what I said. So, how are we going to do good at Atlanta? You know, ESWC was announced. I'm not entirely sure we're going. I think it's 12 teams invited. So, we might go. But... How are we going to do good at the event if we're not getting much practice? How how can we possibly possibly beat the top teams if we're not getting that much practice? If we're losing already to some... I mean, we're losing close. Really close games. It's not like we're getting shit on. So, I mean, we're not bad right now. It's not like we're terribly bad. But how, how can you see us beating a lot of these teams and placing well to get those pro points from, from the land event, which is extremely important? But how can we do that? If we're forced to play GBs and get shitty practice. So it's just, it's just a, it's, a, it's like a circle. We're just going in a circle. And it's a really shitty, like, system right now. Uh, you know, it's a it's really, sh it's going to be a really, really stressful month. I mean, this depends on, these pro points depend on everything. You know, it's going to depend. It's going to be really big. I don't know if I should talk about myself, but just, it's going to be really important, really big. And, you know, I... It's just going to be one of these most stressful months. I'm going to have to force myself to play GBs every day. At least, like... 
8 to 10 a day on top of scrimming, you know, probably not going to be able to really, like, go to the gym, not really, like, I'm going to have to, like, throw away my social life completely. It's just going to be so extremely stressful. And, you know, these 2Ks, we obviously have three more 2Ks coming up, and that's going to be really big for us as a team. And we're going to have to do try to do better, even though top eight wasn't that bad, but we're going to have to try to win one or get a semifinals, hope another team doesn't do that well. It's just it's so stressful. You guys have no idea how much stress this has been on me and my team. It's been tremendously bad. You know, we're all, like, really upset about it. But at the end of the day, there's nothing we can do. We're trying to beat the system. We're trying our best to grind and, you know, try to try to make it make it to the pool playing ATL. I mean, yeah, ATL. And try our best to just be the best. But it's difficult, guys. It's really difficult. But, you know, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's more of a rant video just talking to you guys and, you know, really explaining, you know, what's going on right now, what's going on with the team. Uh, much love to everybody who's been supporting me. You know, I'm, I'm slowly, you know, finally getting better. So I'm going to try to upload a video every day again. And, you know, I'm going to start streaming again. So you can always check out my streams. This has been your boy Apathy. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.